Hello, today I will be doing a demonstration on creating product thumbnails for Lazada and Shopee with Canva Free. So first and foremost, let me show you what a thumbnail is. So these are examples of thumbnails. Thumbnails are images that will um, appear, for example, if I search for skincare. And uh, these are all the thumbnails that will appear. So why are we uh, looking at um, designing thumbnail is because you want your product to stand out um, against the rest of your potential competitors when they uh, try to search for you, when people try to search for you. Okay, so you, you, you are trying your best to have your product um, stand out and it can be with some visuals or it can be with um, uh, written information that differentiate your product. For example, this Japan number one or a very clear um, template uh, like this that shows the brand um, as well as the, um, the the nature of the product, the product name potentially. Okay, so uh, this thumbnail um, shows like a, a bundle, but there may be uh, quite a lot of words and information that some viewers may not know where to focus their attention on. So we try to keep our thumbnails very clean. Um, this is very good, a uh, very good example because such uh, great forms, right? You can actually see on mobile as well. So we try to keep them very neat um, to the point and uh, not too cluttered, not too messy, but yet uh, attractive enough. All right. So let's, um, let's work on uh, some effects or some um, uh, thumbnail design tricks here. Yeah? that uh, we, we can we can do with Canva. So firstly, I'm going to open up uh, Canvas. I usually work with 1,200 pixels times 1,200 pixels with new design. So this is a square, all right? So for thumbnails, uh, two, two things. You may want to look at inserting a, a background, okay? Uh, that is not too distracting and quite consistent. So I would like to just show you what Lancome did. I quite like the way they did their background, Lancome. Yeah, so for example, this, right? Uh, it is a very simple um, two-tone, two um, two pieces of uh, two shapes, okay, with a uh, gradient two shapes, and then you have the image here. So if you were to look at the products uh, that Lancome has listed, uh, there are actually quite a few of them with such a background um, and it is very consistent uh, in the way it presents its product. Okay, so um, yeah, so you, you may notice that yeah, you, it really can hold quite a variety of products. It's not too messy. It doesn't attract, uh, uh, grab a lot of attention uh, away from the product itself and it can present the product very nicely right any kind of products very nicely okay so i'm um, today i'm going to show you this okay and putting up of course your brand logo up there uh so firstly um i'm just going to put like a text logo all right logo and uh, if you want to add if you are uh you know a last mall or an official brand okay official store you can just uh in this official store text so sometimes you you you, well, you can put it at the um, corner at the top, uh, and then we can kind of align the these two to make it look more um, uh, structured, aligned. It looks nicer when it's aligned at both sides, right? Uh, and then I can put this closer up. Okay, so it's a very simple um, logo up there. If you feel like it's too loud, uh, then you can kind of minimize it. Another way of presenting your logo would be to centralize your logo and centralize this one. And then you can uh, add in a, a line element. Okay. Add in a line element, you will turn this thing to 90 degrees. Okay. And then you shorten this thing. And then you move it up. Okay. But if you feel like if this line looks too thick, right, you can adjust the weight of the line. Currently, it's five. I'll change it to two. 
okay and then now it looks thinner so we have uh, quite a few um, brands that do their uh, thumbnail logo this way right so uh, let us now work on the gradient okay the gradient background that looks a bit uh, 3d first i want to look for a gradient um, square a gradient square to work with huh? Ah, so I have actually this gradient square, very nice. Yeah, I, I think I actually did this. This was the one that I edited before while trying out the Lancome effect. So, uh, well, I, I can, uh, okay, so wait, let, let's just try using something else and i show you how, how it can be done. Huh? So I can grab uh, uh, something that uh, was already uh, in your Canva free. Okay, this, this will be in there already. And when I click on it, you realize that I can actually um, change the colors. Okay, so I may want to pick on, um, okay, like I really like that grayish, um, let's see, okay, this purple, I'll change this to this grayish blue. Okay, wait. Okay, let's publish. Um, let's publish, maybe, yep. So this is a nice shade of grayish blue. And this pink, um, uh, yeah, maybe something like that. Okay, and then this one, I could possibly change it to white even. Okay, something like that. Okay, something like that. And then I, um, let's see, this way, this way. And then I enlarge it and enlarge this thing and kind of, um, Tilt it a little bit. Yep, something like this. And then I will duplicate. I'll click on this duplicate. Um, and then I could, uh, maybe I want to flip um vertical. And then I want to turn this thing a little bit to straighten this thing. Okay, so uh let us flip it a uh, horizontal, maybe. Okay, and then uh, I'm going to position this piece to back. Okay, so it, it can be okay. Wait, let me see whether I want it this way. Um, doesn't look quite like what I want. Okay, so maybe I can kind of wait, uh, flip it. Flip it horizontal. Yeah, okay, okay, something like that. Okay, so something like that. Yeah, there's a 3D um effect. Okay, so I'm going to just uh, test it out with a sample product serum, for example. Photos. I'll pick this, okay? Yeah, and then I can actually edit, um, add a shadow. Um, like a drop maybe yeah okay so i can have a drop okay you, you, you can actually edit over here you can click on this thing um you may edit the uh the angle okay the offset let's see if the other way ah. oh okay okay go to the let's see maybe the left side a bottom left is nice okay bottom left okay and then offset more to the bottom left about a bit top left can i do top left no okay bottom left is better okay angle angle no okay transparency blur maybe blur yeah blur okay so i can edit the shadow this way yeah? yep so here i have it i have a very um a simple but not boring background I have my logo, I have my product. So if you're selling products that are more, they take up more vertical space, right? Uh, then you don't want to use your space below to put in any text. You may want to use your space at the side instead. So uh, what I can do, I'll go back to shapes. It's very easy to just include a, a, a shape, okay? So maybe something like this, okay, like this. And then I want to uh, flip it horizontal. Let's see if I can. I can flip it. No, I can't flip it, right? So I'm going to manually um flip it okay, to continue to tilt this thing. I run an AT. All right. So it's like this, okay? Um, okay. If it looks, I like I like it to be a sim simple looking, but if you kind of need a bottle, you can actually create your add in a bottle here, uh, and then you can add a color to the bottle if you like it okay this way okay to kind of uh, make it stand out a little bit so over here um you you can let's see you can add text like um uh, non-additive okay for skincare for example non-additive right okay 
um, and then I change the color to white. Okay, non-additive. Uh, okay, uh, and then if I find, okay, I like this design, right? I need to repeat it. I'm going to click over here and, okay, wait, 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 I'm going to check. I can't, okay. I click out here and drag over here. Yeah, just to select this. Oh, but I think the whole piece got selected. If I can't do that, I go click this and shift select this, okay? Shift click. And then I can group them. I'll group them. And then I can duplicate them. And then I move it down. But if I want to change the text, okay, now I'll change the text here. Non-additive. Um, and this is um, long-lasting youth. Okay, long-lasting youth, for example. But if I need to shift the text, right, I should ungroup it. <clears throat> and then I'll shift it, centralize it, okay? Long-lasting youth. Okay, um, and I, I may also want to add, um, you know, a, a brand a customer service differentiator here. I can include a more interesting shape. For example, a more wavy kind of shape down there. Let's find a nice wave. I like, I, I like to use this wave actually. Okay, I like this wave, um, you know. Okay, let's just um, something like that, okay? And then this one, I can position in front, position to front, all right? And then I can change the color of this wave, okay? Um, I may want to change it to a brighter color. <coughs> okay, and this one, something really bright. Okay, this brown looks very off. Okay, so maybe something pink, for example. Okay, yeah, so I may want to make it uh, stand out a little bit. And then I want to add a uh, text over here. Mm. Okay. Uh, Okay, ultra fast delivery. Okay, ultra fast delivery. Then, okay, I, I think I've mentioned in my um uh, before whenever I do such demonstrations that when I add text, you realize that I usually don't like to edit <clears throat> the let's see, for example, I don't like to edit this part, right? Because it is pretty much a waste of time. You go through so many different font types. Um, I like to stick to this, the default that is given to us because I really feel that that's really good enough. Okay, so so that's what I usually do. So ultra fast delivery, yeah, something like that. So this is one way, okay, but of course then uh, I think we have adjusted these things such that, uh, okay, so I think with this is more obvious, yeah? Yeah, the, the gradient is more obvious over here. Okay, you can do something like that. Now, um, I'm going to show you how you can also do like a frame. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see. Okay, so you know there are some thumbnails that they do have this kind of frame, right? Like a, a background image and then you, you kind of have a, a, a square here. Okay, so you can do that. You can do two pieces. Okay, like this, right? A, a background and then uh, something, uh, some layers on top of it, right? Or you also can do it this way. It's just a border for a square. I, I think it's easier. I'll show you this, this first. Yeah? So add page. What you can do, you go to elements, you go to lines and shapes. Um, yeah, and then you, you, you have it here. You can get the rounded one or you can get the sharp edge one. So I'll show the sharp edge one. Yeah, this. Now, the thing about this kind is that you can't really control how thick you want this. Uh, you can't really uh, change the thickness of this part, right? But what you can do is um, kind of, let me show you. Like, this is a 3D, okay. Mm, this, okay. For example, you can actually do this, you know. Uh, it's also actually quite nice. Move it down and move it down, okay. And then it pops up over here. Okay, uh, so something like that. Okay, so this also makes a very nice frame. 
um, alternatively, you may just uh, add a huge shape, you know, a, a standard background behind like this. And then, and then add another shape and change the color of this shape. So this one can be white. All right. And then you, so with this, um, you may detect how thick you want your border frame to be. So that's also up to you. Okay, which one you prefer to use for your products. So if you have very um okay, so this kind this kind you may want to use it on products that are more horizontal, uh fatter looking, for example, tissue box is like a horizontal um product. So I'm just gonna grab any example. I'm just going to grab like um, like this one, okay? Okay, so this piece of tissue box is horizontal. So it takes up more horizontal space, right? Um, therefore, those that take up more horizontal space, you try to enlarge this product to as big as it can be. And 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 then um, instead of having text at the side, uh, that then you can use your space below to have your text and logo up here as well. Okay. So these are some ways that you can design your, you know, your product thumbnails nicely. Um, most importantly, make sure that you you actually have very nice, um, well uh, taken product photos, and that makes it so much easier. Okay, easier for you to design. So yep, um, that is all for today. I will see you again in the next upcoming video demo. Hope this is helpful for you. Thank you for watching.